Good evening. Hello. Good evening, Sergio. Nice to see you, Sergio. Hi, how are you doing, guys? Good evening, teacher. Hi. Nice to see you again. Good evening. Thanks for being in class. Welcome. How's your day? It was good. Okay. Well, uh, a little tired, but um, thanks to God that we have a job. I mean, we have uh, something to do, you know. It was nice. But thank God. You say thank God we have something to do. Um, all right. Great. We're going to get started. I see Carla. Welcome. Kelida. Welcome. Josue. Hello. Hi. Gabriel. Gabriel. Juan Paul. Welcome. Jose Manzano. Catherine. I have Carlos. Yes, Mello. sir. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> yes, ma'am. All right. And Rocio. As well. Joining us. Welcome. All right, let's get started. And I hope we learn a lot today. Let's see. So this is what we were working on last night, right? We were making comparisons, but we um, we were trying to identify whether things had the similarities or things in common. <laughs> let's use the microphone, please. Guys, everybody was <laughs> Yeah. Oh, all right. Great. So we worked on this. We worked on as convenient as or a, the negative form, right? As many as. And we also worked with as much as. Now what we're missing is aren't too big. Like the microphone. Mr. Santiago, thank you. All right. Very good. Now this is the part that I want you to practice, okay? So we can move on. Are it big enough, too small, too much, or is that not enough, okay? And I also would like you to use these adjectives right here. We're going to be talking about houses versus apartments, okay? Hey, let's see some adjectives. Repeat after me. You don't need to unmute the microphone because it's going to be really noisy, but repeat, okay? With the microphone near the please. Let's say comfortable. Comfortable. With the microphone muted. All right. Mute the microphone. All right. And say comfortable. Convenient. Dangerous. Everybody repeat. Dangerous. Dangerous. Dark. 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 Right, hold on. Repeat after me. Um, bright. Expensive. Huge. Small. Inconvenient. Modern. Noisy. Private. Quiet, safe, small, spacious. All right. Now I'm going to allow you to unmute yourself in case you want to participate. Very good. So, uh, do you have questions about this adjective, guys? Questions about the adjectives and what they mean? No? Oh. Bright. Bright. No. What's my bright? What's the bright. meaning of bright? The bright. Meaning of bright is the opposite of dark. It can also mean in other contexts, yeah. it can mean very intelligent, but not in this context because we're talking about houses and apartments. Okay? So it wouldn't be the case. Uh, who else? Any other questions? No? This is what we're going to do. I want you to work with this part, evaluation with adjectives, and I want you to work with this one, evaluation with nouns, using the adjectives. 
Okay, I'm, I will give you an example so that you can see. Let's see, the first one. First one says apartments aren't big enough for families. What can we say about apartments, guys? Apartments, uh huh? Comfortable. Apartments aren't aren't comfortable. Comfortable. Enough. Comfortable. Comfortable enough. Comfortable right? enough. Because we're not going to compare this time. We're only going to use this and this, all right? Now, let's try an example with, um, with the second column. It says evaluation with nouns. So it says apartments don't have enough parking space. So that we're not gonna use adjectives. We're gonna say, for example, houses. Houses. Houses, and let's try to use too much. Houses, I can't think of too much, too much money. Cost too much. Yeah, the same example, right? They cost too much. Uh, houses, houses are most expensive. Um, that, uh, yes, but we're not comparing. That's the only thing. We have to use this structure with enough or much. Houses, uh -huh. houses are spacious and no for dogs. Are spacious enough? It's spacious enough for dogs. Very good. You know what? Well, we're going to compare. We're not going to compare houses and apartments. We're going to compare the city versus um. The hold on. I don't want to say rural area, but that's what comes to my mind. We're going to compare the city versus rural area. Okay. Oh. Using these two. I think that's going to be easier, right? No. Okay. So remember this part and this. Let's make four sentences at least in groups. Do you have any questions? Try to use too much, enough, too small, negative form, only these two. No, don't make comparisons, please. So any questions? I think we're good to go. All right, let's practice. Here we go. Everybody accept the invitation, please.
Sui is to wash noisy than that, countryside. That's right. This is in affirmative. In negative yeah. is city. Want, sorry, Gabriel, you won't compare it. Let's say cities uh, are too noisy. Simple as that. Too much? No, because we cannot are, count noise. So cities are too noisy. Or you can know. say, or you can say there is okay. There is too much noise uh, in the city, or cities are too noisy. You see what I'm saying? Because okay. too much, you're gonna use with a noun, not an adjective. Too, you're gonna use with an adjective. So you have two options. I'm gonna send you the example here. Okay. Check the chat here. Not not WhatsApp, but here on Zoom. Look, you can say cities. Cities are too noisy, or there is too much noise in the city. Have pay attention to that adjective or noun. There is too much noise. No, there is too much noise. Ruido, porque uno es ruido, soy el otro es ruido. It's not the same. Muy it's too noise. Y mucho ruido. It's the same in Spanish. So say it's too, too noisy. No, too noisy. Ah, it's too noisy. Yes, look at this. Dan? No, no, no. Simple as that. Don't compare it. Okay. Are too noisy. Period. Okay, serious. Or the oh, yes, it's true. The countryside have um, enough private 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 yes <laughs> the countryside doesn't have uh, doesn't have traffic or malls yes. Oh, the, the city have enough malls or supermarkets? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Do you have other one, Milton? Mm. Uh, rural, rural area does don't have enough um, um, streets mm -hmm. will be in the third in the third person doesn't have enough street mm -hmm. mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. Countryside. I'm saying, but the countryside don't have don't, don't have enough enough uh, enough parking don't, spaces. Don't have enough and. Uh, Houses of the city. All righty. I think that was a little difficult, but let's see how you did. Uh, would you mind sharing some examples with me, please? I I have a question, if you don't mind, Mrs. Go ahead, tell me. Uh, I have heard, and actually, I have used also a adjective which is soup verb or something like that yeah, which is verb. spelled yeah which is spelled s u b e r b right like that so can we use that adjective with this topic yes yes totally why not okay <laughs> yeah okay uh tell me some sentences you wrote go ahead by the way it was that's the, the word that i was looking for the countryside the city versus the countryside. 
CD versus countryside. And I totally forgot it, but now here I got it. All right, tell me some sentences. Anybody? The, the countryside is super comfortable for animals. Uh, no, no, not in that no? case. No, okay. you know why? Because this is an adjective. This oh, super, okay. super is an adverb. So oh, I'm okay. saying, look at this. I can say this is really nice, really nice, or I can say this is super nice. But it's super, okay? I can tell you this painting is superb. It's a different thing, it's an adjective. So it's like kind of very direct? Mm, no, superb is an adjective. And the way you want to use it is as an adverb. So what you're trying to say is super, not superb. Oh, okay. Super, super nice, super good. That, that's right. Okay, so city again, what is the sentence? Cities are too uh -huh. noisy Cities are for elder people. Too noisy for elder people. Very good. That was a great example. All right. Three more. Come on. Come on. Participate. Otto, Rocio, Josue. Anybody help me, please. Three more examples and we move on. Come on. The houses of the countryside are houses. bigger. Oh yeah, but that is a comparison. No, we, we have to use this. I don't have it anymore. We have to use too, too much, Enough. That's what I want you to use. Okay. Two. City are too, too dangerous for family. Yes. Cities. Enough to be family. Cities are dangerous. Or too dangerous. I don't know. It's too... ah, okay. Yes, it's good. It's good. You can say are too dangerous. Awesome. Are too dangerous for families. Awesome. All right. Houses in the countryside are big enough. You can say, for example, big enough for families. Okay, one more example, and I need cities. an example with too much. Who can give me an example with too much? Cities has too much traffic jam. Yes, after too much, you have to use a noun, right? So cities, no, maybe there is too much traffic in the cities. Like that. Okay, remember that two is going to be followed by an adjective. Too much is going to be followed by a noun that is uncountable. And too many is going to be followed by a noun that is countable. Okay, so we can say, for example, there are too many, too many, and I need a countable noun. Too many what? In the countryside, guys. Too many apples. Too many apples in the countryside. Too many trees? Yes. Mm -hmm. But that is not something bad. Too many es como demasiados, like, oh no, there's too many. That's something positive. Too many dangerous animals, animal dangerous. Okay, too many dangerous animals in the countryside. Yes, all right, awesome. Well, you can take a screenshot of this to analyze it later. And if you would like further practice, um, then you can continue practicing at home because this is a very common topic, guys. When you speak in real life, you're going to be using this a lot. Okay, so if you can, write more sentences during the weekend. But right now we're going to practice um, some exercises related to this. Number one, we're going to say, which is correct? Catherine, help us out, please. Okay, let me see. Ahorita estamos hablando de 
Mm-hmm. Um, um, I don't know, maybe three. Two. Ah, three. Number In two. my opinion, how are you? Three. three. No, then guys, three the cards. Three. Three. Number three. Yes. Three. Uh, All right. Remember. Yes, three. Take this into account. So, in my opinion, houses are just as expensive as apartments in my neighborhood. Are expensive as are as expensive. That's right. This is the right one because you have as and you have as. You have two. The other ones don't have both of them. You need both, right? Very good. Okay. Number two. Let's see. Um, Hold on, I'm going to mute everybody. No, that's number two, okay, right? All right. Your microphone. I think is number number three. Three. Guys, say three. You can move. Uh, all right. My neighbor's okay, house yes. has five bedrooms, but my house is has a big as. Yes. Yes, that is right. Very good. Otto, number three. Everybody mute your microphone except Otto. Otto is working. Look at him. Working. I'm so sorry. What is Let it? me see, please. He saw something strange, I think he said. All right. Can I can I ask you something, Mrs. Navas? Yes, go ahead, Miss Navas. <laughs> Miss Navas, sorry. I have a question about the uh, use of but, because for example, uh, I okay. the way I understand when you say but is something really opposite to the first uh, sentence, right? For mm -hmm. example, I don't wish nothing but the best for you. Or something yes. like that. That's a synonym of accept. I read your mind. It's right here. <laughs> right. So, In that context, it's not saying that it's the opposite. It's saying accept. So I don't wish, I don't want anything, but to see my family, for example. Oh, this is such a sad example. Well, I don't <laughs> want anything. Except seeing my family. So the, the usage of that in this context is except. All right. So bad means, guys, bad means pero, but it also means except. All right. Very good. Number three. Let me see. Ramiro, go ahead. Ramiro, he disappeared. Okay. AG, I don't know. The one that has AG, the initials, because I, I don't see your name. So I'll initially make you participate because of that. What's the answer? All right. Anybody can tell me the answer because I don't know what's going on. Uh, I don't like number to one. leave. The I number, don't like. The first. The first one is the answer. Okay, first one. So I don't like to live in apartments because they don't have as many rooms as houses often. Yes. And finally, ah, you saw the answer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, read it, please. Sergio, go ahead, Sergio. Ah, Andrea, what's your last name, Andrea? I'm gonna, because if, if it says AG, I will never call your name. Sorry, so Andrea something, Andrea. In Latin. So, what's the answer here? Read the sentence, please, Sergio. Uh, how much space does my old house? My new house doesn't have. My new house don't have as much space as my old house. Right, because space is a noun and it's uncountable, so we use as much instead of as many, right? 
as much as very good. Great. All right. We did a great job. Excellent. Now, do you have questions before we move on? Question? No. No? Okay, awesome. Let's continue then. Read the objective, please, Ramiro. Ramiro, hello. Cuando no contestan, les canto. Ramiro. <laughs> no. All right. Milton. Milton Alvarenga, then. Read the star. Express wishes and desire a big part of communicating with friends. Learn how to express wishes that you have about your personal life, career, or, or health. This lesson for English teacher Joe Sands explains how to use the verb to wish in the present tense and com combine, combine it with a past tense verb to be express wishes. For example, I wish I didn't live. I I I I didn't live with my parents. I <laughs> wish I had I had a different job, or I wish I, I were thinner. And these lessons this lesson includes an oral language comprehension exercise. Great, thank you very much. So we're going to do this dialogue here. Well, I think that's the first thing. Which one? Hello, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll learn how to express present wishes that you have about your personal that you life, have about your career, and health. For example, you'll be able to make the following expressions. I wish I didn't live with my parents. I wish I had a different job. I wish I were thinner. Before I present the material, what I would like for you to do is to listen to an audio program that illustrates how this topic is used. Your task is to listen carefully and complete some questions that I'll have for you at the end of the audio program. So, are you still living with your parents, Terry? I'm afraid so. I wish I had my own apartment. Why? Don't you like living at home? It's okay. But my parents are always asking me to be home before midnight. I wish they'd stop worrying about me. Yeah, parents are like that. And they expect me to help around the house. I hate housework. I wish life weren't so difficult. So, why don't you move out? Hey, I wish I could. But where else can I get free room and board? Yeah, it's sometimes pretty hard to pay the rent. I'm thinking of finding a new job. Really? What kind of job would you like? I'm not sure, but I wish I worked somewhere else. I'm tired of this place. I need to live somewhere more exciting. I know what you mean. Hey, maybe we could move to a different city. We could even be roommates. Yeah, uh, maybe. Now let me start by presenting the structure. The first thing that I would like to point out is that we use wish plus a past tense in order to refer to present wishes. For example, if I have a situation that is true for me, such as I live with my parents and I would like for that to be something different, that is a wish that I have. And in order for me to express that idea, I will say I wish I didn't live with my parents or I wish I had my own apartment. Um, if I think that life is difficult, for example, this is my present situation. If I want to express a wish that I have about that particular situation, then I will say, I wish life were easier, or I wish it weren't so difficult. Let's try to make sense of the examples that are on this chart. In order for us to understand those examples, what I would like to do is I would like to propose this formula here at the bottom. And so what we want to do is we want to take certain situations that exist in our lives and then we want to express wishes about those situations. 
the example that is stated here it's I live with my parents I would like for that to be something different right and so in order for me to express that idea I'm gonna have a subject so in this case the subject is I and then this is gonna follow wish plus the subject again now the subject could be you again or it could be another person right I wish I and then the verb in its past form so in this case it happens to be that it's on a negative form so we use didn't plus live so I wish I didn't and then whatever compliment right didn't live with my parents there we go there we go and as you can see the other example is quite similar I wish I had my own apartment in that second example we can see that it's no longer in its negative form so therefore we're gonna use the verb in the past so the example will be I wish I had my own apartment so this is gonna be in the past so let's try to make sense of that second example there I can't move out so what happens there I can't move out the only thing that changed was that I'm using a model verb instead of a regular verb um, but what you gotta remember here is that the, mo the model verb can the past of that is could and so it's basically the same concept right we're gonna say I wish and then we're gonna have a subject again I wish I so what is the past of can well we can easily say that it is could right there we go is that's basically what we're gonna put here I wish I could move out now let's try to make sense of the example life is difficult as you can see the verb that we're using there is the verb to be and something that I would like for you to learn at this point is that whenever we express wishes we're gonna use where for all of the pronouns it doesn't matter if we're talking about I he she it we you or they for all of them we're gonna use where and so that's basically what's um, here at the bottom after which where is used with all pronouns so if we think about the example life is difficult and we want to express a wish then we can say I wish and this subject again life where easier uh, and of course you can make that in a negative statement I wish life weren't so difficult but it's basically the same pattern that we're following in the last example my parents won't stop worrying about me well what happens here is that I'm using a contraction there so my parents won't stop worrying about me in that particular case I'm gonna turn want or will not into would right so I wish and in this case subject my parents would stop and then whatever compliment right what kind of wishes do you have about your life and as I mentioned at the beginning of class we want to express personal wishes we want to express family wishes we want to express health wishes we want to express professional wishes if you will so I'm just gonna have a series of wishes here right so what kind of wishes do you have about your bedroom so an easy example I wish my bedroom were bigger what kind of wishes do you have about your school or job well I wish my job were easier what kind of wishes do you have about your appearance the way that you look well I wish I were thinner example, how to program computers I wish I knew how to program computers and so on and so forth so I would like for you to come up with your own examples about the kind of
Hold on. Okay, so first, the first thing I want us to do is uh, please check WhatsApp and you will see a dialogue. That's the dialogue we'll listen to at the beginning. All right, let me open it here for you so that you can see it as well. Open that dialogue. We're going to practice it. I also want you to uh, underline or highlight where the, the expression wish with past is so that you can see how it is being used in context and then modify it a little bit. So we're going to do those three steps. Let me see. I will open it here to show you how that will be done. One second. Okay, look, here is the, here's the dialogue. That's the one that we listened to the first time. Let's identify, where can you see wish plus past in this sense, in this dialogue, where is it? Mm -hmm. I think it's the part of Terry. I Very wish cool. I had my own apartment. Yes, this is one. Mm -hmm. Very good. I wish I had. Look, you have wish plus past. Right. Very good. What else? I wish they'd stop I worrying they about me. Stop worrying about I wish they stop. They would stop. That's also good because they're saying they would. All right. What else? I, I wish, wish life, life weren't. weren't. Life weren't. weren't. And I wish I, I could. Wish I, could. I wish I could. This is also in the past. Very good. Let's practice this dialogue. Okay. Repeat after me. Hold on. One second. Very good. Repeat after me. So, are you still living with your parents, Terry? So, are you still living? I'm afraid so. I wish I had my own apartment. Everybody repeat. Come on, repeat. Why? Don't you like living at home? Everybody repeat. Why don't you like living at home? It's okay, but my parents are always asking me to be home before midnight. I wish they'd stop worrying about me. Great. Yeah, parents are like that. And they expect me to help around the house. I hate housework. I wish life weren't so difficult. Everybody repeat. So why don't you move out? Hey, I wish I could, but where else can I get free room and board? Very good. So what I want you to do now is I want you to practice this dialogue, all right? And mm, don't modify it, just practice it. Don't modify it because we're going to practice a lot. Um, hold on. There it is. Do you have any questions? No. Not teacher. Oh, okay. Hold on. We're going to be in groups of, in pairs, actually, to practice the dialogue. All right. So, practice this, accept the invitation. Here we go.
Hi, Ramiro. Hi, teacher. Le envío una invitación, tiene que aceptarla. Ok, ok. Yes. Se la voy a mandar otra vez porque ya no está viendo lo que. Ok. Hey, I wish I could, but where else can I get free room and board? Okay. Teacher, only, okay. only this conversation? Yes, just this conversation. Practice it and then switch. So one okay. person is Brian yeah. and Terry, and then Terry and Brian. You did both? Yeah. All right, great. We're going to go back then. Okay. Okay, here we are. Did you practice? Yes, we practiced. Yes. All right, awesome. Good job. Now, let's see. Mute your microphones, please. Remember, unless you're going to participate, okay? Because we're in life. Thank you. Let's answer the questions. Okay, number one says, what kind of wishes does Terry have? What's the answer? And by the way, this is section 3.8. What kind of wishes does Terry have? Second one. Uh, can you read it, please? He wishes. He wishes. He, ha he wishes. Look, because it's third person. He wishes. Uh -huh. He had his own apartment and that life wasn't so difficult. So difficult. Awesome. Number two, hey, Josue. Hey. Number, number two. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what kind of wishes does Brian have? I think uh, he, he wishes he works somewhere else and lives somewhere more excited. Okay, so you're saying the second one. Uh, no, they're terrible. Three. Third, three. Third one. Very good. Mm. Next one, uh, Miguel. Miguel Campo. Hola. Hi, number three. Number three. Well, I'm going to use Laura, Laura, eh, Wishes she has some free time. The second one you're saying? Yes. Remember, it's wish plus past. The first one. Ah, okay, por el pasado. Yes, and wishes because this is the third person. So she wishes she had, she had, she had free time. some free time. Yes, okay. Sorry. Milton Alvarenga. Milton, Milton, ding dong. There, Hello. number four. Um, using which then can fit into his old jeans. Um, I don't know, maybe the second one. Then um, we should read it. 
The that second one, Dan, with this, he could fit into heels all jeans. Let's see if that is right. I don't bum, know. Bum, bum, bum. Yes, it's all yeah, good. It's correct. Okay. <laughs> we did a great job. Yeah. Awesome. Now, what I want you to do is, uh, give me one second. I want to open the image. Check WhatsApp. And there is one. There's one image that says, write the sentence or rewrite it if I'm not wrong. I'm going to show it to you. Give me one second. Because I don't want you to see my chat, my WhatsApp. <laughs> so let me open it. Hold on. Uh, yeah, there's one that says Diane wishes she could something. That's the one I want you to open right now so that we can see the structure and be able to modify it. Okay, here it is. So I found it. Found it, found it. All right, take a look. Okay, this one. It says rewrite the sentences using wish. If you notice, the first one says Diana or well, Diana. Diane, I would say, can't wear contact lenses. Um, Sorry? Well, she can't wear contact lenses. So we're going to say, we can say she or we can say Diana, all right? Wishes, because it is third person and wishes in the present form, all right? So wishes she could, because could is the past of can, right? She could wear contact lenses okay what you have to do is write the same here then wish or wishes wishes, wishes. uh-huh he and then could right well depending on what the sentence is i want you to write it like that so i'll give you five minutes that means like one minute for each sentence to modify it you're gonna modify it in in pairs, well, let me see, in small groups of three, hold on. One second, there, accept the invitation, please. And let's do the exercise, write it down.
lo desea. In this Lara, case, Laura doesn't have any free time. Laura, Laura wishes she had had in had any free time. She had some free time. Ha. Have some. Ah, okay. Yes. Yes, but that is right. Very good. Mm. Ah, so Laura. Okay. Hello. Can you hear me? Hi, can you hear me? I'm sorry, can you repeat? Laura wish wishes have wishes much she has. time. She wishes she had. Hmm. Yes, Laura wishes she had. All right, we're gonna go back now. Hello, Mrs. Navas. Hi. Hi. I have a question. Uh, do you mind? Yeah, go ahead. All right. I was just taking a look on the conversation uh, we practiced at the beginning, which is about Brian and Terry. And I have a question about it. Uh, I was just reading here that Terry, it says, I wish life weren't so difficult. I was wonder why in the exercise we did, we just did, the answer says, Terry wishes life wasn't that difficult or something like that. So we Hi. switch weren't to us. Yeah, you can use both. You can use uh, with the third person, it, he, or she. You can use for sentences like this, you can use weren't. This is more appropriate, but you can also say wasn't. Oh, okay. It's becoming common now to say wasn't, but this is like the proper way, right? You can use both. Okay. So, uh, what did you write, guys? What's number two? Number two is then. Wishes. Um, go ahead. Wishes he could fit into his old pants. Yes, everybody wishes that, right? Yes. <laughs> that way I will have a lot of clothes. <laughs> yeah. All right, number three. Anybody? I wish I could remember my old, my pin number. I wish I could. All right. Somebody else, please. Number four. Lara wishes she didn't have any free time. Oh, no. She wants she free time. She had a free time. time. Yeah. She wants free time. So. Laura, Laura wishes she had some yeah, free time. Some free time. Okay. Very good. Number five. Ladies, where are you? Carla, Rocio, Jackie, Jack. <laughs> what is called Jack? Andrea. My parents wish parents. they could. Wish they? My, My parents could wish, wish they could afford a new car. Could afford a new car. And that's it. Amazing. Okay. That's about it. Um, on Monday, we're going to practice the other images I sent you. Those are uh, speaking practices. All right. Do you have any questions? No, oh, no, clear. Just, no, oh, clear. No, why? I horchata. Why use <laughs> I wish I were thinner, for example? Because, yeah, you can use. In no, I wish I was. Yeah, the correct one would be where, but now it's common to say was. If you remember the second conditional, you say, if I were. A millionaire, I would be la la la, all right? Instead uh, of the okay. So it's similar to this. You say, if I were, I wish I were, I wish he were, I wish it were. But you can also say was nowadays. 
Okay. Yeah, it's some sort of an exception because it's an imaginary situation. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, thank you. All right. Thank you very much, guys. I hope you have a great weekend. Okay. Bye, teacher. Thank you. Bye, teacher. Bye, teacher. Bye, teacher. Bye, teacher. Bye, teacher. Bye, Bye, teacher. 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 Bye, teacher.